Welcome back to Ramsey Land. Today we're excited to do the Briggs Rauscher Oscillation Experiment. All you need for this lab is 35% hydrogen peroxide, a little bit of malonic acid. You're gonna need some cornstarch, some sulfuric acid, potassium iodate, and your manganese sulfate monohydrate. You'll need a stir plate and a little bit of heat and several flasks. Check it out. We're live. All right, first step, Zayn's gonna add two and a half milliliters of sulfuric acid to our 400 milliliters of distilled water. Okay, next, Alex is gonna add 21.5 grams of potassium iodate to, this is our first beaker. This is solution A. And he's gonna combine that with 400 milliliters of distilled water. Okay, so first we're gonna add the 21 and a half grams of potassium iodate. And we're just gonna let that stir, and then the two and a half milliliters of sulfuric acid. Perfect, and this is solution A. We're just gonna let that stir. Okay, if next thing for solution A is go ahead and fill it to 500 milliliters. So just top it off, dilute it up to 500. All the way up to 500. Oh, okay, now we're ready for solution B. Alex is gonna add 7.8 grams of malonic acid to our second beaker filled with 400 milliliters of distilled water. 7.8 grams malonic acid. All right, go ahead and add your malonic acid to solution B. Pour it all in there. All uh, right, next for solution B, Aiden is gonna add 1.7 grams of magnesium sulfate. A little too much, I have to pour a little bit of that back in there. 1.7 grams. Do Okay, yeah, Aiden's gonna add that to solution B. And heat it up a little bit and keep stirring it until it's completely dissolved. Last step for solution B is add just two grams of cornstarch. Yeah, make sure you zero out your metric scale. And just scoop out two grams of cornstarch. And again, this is for solution B. You wanna mix A and B together before you add solution C with a hydrogen peroxide. Okay, and now for solution B, you're gonna dilute this up to uh, 500 milliliters of water. So you're just adding another 100 milliliters to it. Okay, Aiden now is ready to add uh, solution C. He's gonna add 200 milliliters of 35% hydrogen peroxide. And then he's gonna dilute that to about 500 milliliters with uh, water. So 200 milliliters of 35% H2O2, and then dilute to 500 milliliters. That's good, okay, and then dilute to 500. Okay, final moment, we're gonna add solution A and B. Do not add solution C first. You have to mix A and B together before you add the hydrogen peroxide. Okay, now we're gonna add solution B. Good. Notice that the solution is colorless. Absolutely no color yet. To black and oscillate back and forth. Here we go. And it's turning yellow. Pour it all in there. Now it's turning clear. And it should oscillate back and forth, back and forth. Let's watch what happens here. There it goes. Oh yeah. Wow. Should oscillate back and forth. There it goes. It's like a traffic light. And it changes again. Gee. Isn't that cool? Gee. And it goes again. It changes again. The oscillation is amazing. There it goes. <laughs> it oscillates. Very cool. Well, you guys did great. Very cool.